hello guys in this video we will see how to download and install mysql latest version that is mysql 8.0.37 on windows server 2022 open any browser then go to mysql official website that is mysql.com click on downloads scroll down click on mysql community downloads then click on mysql installer for windows click on it so select the version 8.0.37 or 5.7.44 so we are going to install 8.0.37 select it then select the operating system windows by default it has selected it then we have to select the mysql installer community 8.0.37 not the web community okay so click on download then click on no thanks just start my download see download has been started and its size is 296 megabytes wait until this download completes see msi file downloaded click on the this downloaded file see here we have the see here we have to set select the setup type like server only client only or full full means it contains server client workbench and all okay so if you select only server it is in, going to install only mysql server so i'm i don't i want to go and install all so select the full then click on next see it is going to install these components then click on execute now click on next now we are going to configure mysql server so click on next see port number 3306 if you see this will be the name for the named file okay i'm not going to change anything so click on next click on next provide the password for root account if you want add user you have to click on add user then here provide the user then you have to select the role from the list then we have to provide the password so i'm not going to create at this moment so click on cancel then click on next see this will be the name in the services okay so i'm not going to change it also also see here the checkbox start mysql server at system startup okay whenever windows server restarted so mysql server automatically starts if we check this one otherwise we have to start manually so i'm not i'm going to keep this as it is and click on next grant full access then click on next see this is a configuration information and so click on execute see everything is done so click on finish next product configuration so click on next so click on finish then provide the password check it done click on next click on execute to install the samples all done click on finish click on next see start mysql or bench after setup then start mysql after setup i don't want mysql shell so click on finish see this is the mysql or bench let me max see now click on this plus button to connect to mysql click on this plus button from the so give the name mysql 8 win 2022 name can be anything then select the connection method then this is the host name you can give the local host also or give the ip of the mission if you want to find the ip of the mission cmd ip config see this is the ip okay so next port number 3306 username root then provide the password by clicking on the store in vault then provide the password click on ok now test connection it is success click on ok we want to select the default schema or the default database we have to provide here otherwise click on ok click on connection see here we have the two tabs administration and schemas click on schemas see this Sakila and world are the sample databases if you don't want you have to right click on you have to click on drop schema okay if you want to create database click on create schema then provide the name 
so I am giving R2 schools. Then click on save or apply. Again apply. Finish. See new database or the schema is successfully added. Let me close this one. Okay. Now we will see how to connect to MySQL shell. Click on start. See here we have the MySQL folder. Click on drop down. Then select the MySQL shell. Now give slash SQL. Now show databases. See, we have the same databases like here. Okay. So control L to clear screen. Now let us connect to Auto Schools database or schema. Show tables. See, before we have the blank. Now database name is added here. Show tables. See, we don't have any tables. Let us create a table in this Auto Schools database. Create table student assignment. Now verify tables. Show tables. See, one table is added. Let us insert some data into this table. Insert into insert one more row. Insert one more row. This time I am giving S number as 101. It will throw error. See duplicate entry for primary key. Okay. So we have to give unique value or non existing value of the table. So we have the already 101 for the S number. So we have to give 102 or any other number. Now select the data from this table. Select star from student. See we got the same output. See we have the three rows. Okay. Let us verify list of users, show users. See, we don't have the command like show users, but we can get the list of the users by running select control and select user from mysql dot user. This type of see, we have this C. These are the default users comes with MySQL installation. Also, we can get the, those. Click on users and privileges. See, we got the same users. If you want to add a account or a user, click on add account. Then provide the name for the new user. I am giving James. Then select the authentication type standard. Limit host. Then provide the password for this user. Then click on apply. It is done. Now click on users again. See here we have the James user. Even if you go to the see new user James is added. Last step is go to downloads. Delete this downloaded MSI file to clear the space. Now we will see how to stop start and restart MySQL service on Windows Server 2022. Services.msc Press M. See here we have the MySQL 80. See the service status is running and startup type is automatic. Select the service and see here we have the links for stop, pass, restart. And if you right click, we have the same options like stop, pass, restart. And here we have the same stop service, pass service, and restart service. Okay, if you want to stop, click on the stop button. If you want to again start it, you have to right click and click on start or click on only start. See it is stopped. So we have only one option that is see these are grayed out. Okay. Select any one of them. So click on start button. Or if you want to restart, select service and click on restart. See but first it is stopping, now it is starting. Okay. So in this video we have seen how to 
download and install mysql 8.0.37 and mysql workbench on windows server 2022 for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you